Let's go over this payback example where we have uneven cash flows. There's the problem right there, highlighted in the green box. If a project is expected to cost $150,000 and produce cash flows over the next four years of $75,000, zero, $55,000, and $60,000 respectively, what is the payback, assuming a required rate of return of 7.25%. Now, they're only asking for payback, not discounted payback, so the required rate is irrelevant on this problem. And here's how I lay out the analysis. We list the cash flows by period. So right now, period zero, we spend 150,000. Then we generate 75,000 in the next year, zero the year after that, 55,000 the year after that, and 60,000 the year after that. So we have to compute the cumulative cash flows. At point zero right now, we're 150,000 in the hole. Then we add the 75,000 positive cash flow from year one to generate a cumulative cash flow of 75,000. 150 less the 75,000. The end of two year, there's no, end of year two, there's no impact because there was no positive or negative cash flow. End of year three, that 75,000 deficit or net cash outflow is reduced by 55,000 that we generated in year three. And then finally, we go positive. So to do the calculations, what I do is I look and I see, is the cumulative cash flow negative? If it's negative, we know that year is a full year's payback. So at the end of year one, we're in the hole. End of year two, we had another year where we're in the hole. End of year three, we still haven't achieved positive payback. But in the fourth year, we see that we've got 20,000 left out of 60,000. So 20 divided by 60 is a third. We've got a third of a year. Then we add up all those periods, and we come up with a simple payback, right? Not a discounted payback of 3.33 years.